family from Venezuela for two months. I lived in, in a motel for two weeks, another motel for a month, a hotel for a week. I lived in another shared room. I lived with this family from Cuba for six months. Then I ended up moving to Opelika, my first apartment, and I got my second apartment in Opelika. So I had two apartments in Opelika, and I ended up moving to Miami Beach, and I've been to Miami Beach for the past four years. All right, gentlemen, I understand that relocating could be an exciting thing. You know, you're probably excited to move out. You're probably excited to leave your perspective state. You're probably so excited to just get out of your situation and go somewhere new and live a brand new, fresh life. Now, you're speaking to a guy who relocated. You know, I relocated to a city by the name of Miami, Florida. You know, I'm originally from Maryland, Silver Spring, Maryland, which is located right outside of Washington, D.C., in Montgomery County, Maryland. And I relocated to Miami, which is 1,200 miles away from my hometown. So imagine the transition I had to go through. And I drove down here when I relocated. Now, when I first moved down here, gentlemen, I literally came with my bags. And I initially came here because I had got drafted to the Rivals Professional Football League, which is a developmental league that helps players get in the National Football League. Now, gentlemen, relocating. The reason why I'm making this video is because there are so many individuals that hit me up and ask me, yo, Joe, what should I prepare for when it comes to relocating? What do I need? Like, what are some things that I have to prepare for? What are some places I can live? Like, how do I look for apartments? How do I network with people? How do I meet people? Or how do I make a better life? Like, how could I make a smooth transition to relocate? Now, gentlemen, you're watching the perfect video because I know some of y'all may be going through some things in life. Some of y'all may be feeling stuck and you're looking for a reason to relocate and you must watch this video of its entirety and i promise you you're going to learn a lot as far as what to prepare for when it comes to relocating now if you're watching this video please don't forget to hit the like button also don't forget to subscribe to my page and don't forget to hit the notification bell you can't be going to a new city and not being fully prepared financially and having some form of income or some cash flow you cannot move to a city unprepared and this is a mistake i made right where i kind of you know i came here initially for football but after the season ended most players ended up going back to the prospective states and i decided to stay here you know people call me crazy people were like what's wrong with you but i believed in myself you know i'm one of those dudes that you know I'm, I'm gonna take a risk you know i'm gonna do whatever it takes to you know make dreams happen make dreams work but i'm a little different from most people but I'm telling you guys based off experience, you got to have your finances right and you got a secure job because gentlemen, let me tell you something, without a secure job, without a secure finance or whatever financial gains you get, whether you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is, when you don't have that going for you, gentlemen, you're going to struggle severely, especially a big city like Miami, where I'm at, you got to be fully equipped financially. And when I moved here, gentlemen, I didn't have a job. I was playing in this league where they were only paying incentive based pay. So I was living off um, my tax refund and the money I saved up from the job I had as an educator in Maryland. So during the season, I was just trying to rack up stats and try to get paid. And when the season ended, I was like, okay, I'm going to decide to live here and try to figure it out. You know, a lot of people criticize me. But anyways, I was living from motel to, to hotel and multiple jobs. I had multiple jobs. Um, you know, I started out working as a at a call center job. I did door to door sales. I worked security, educator. Like I did it all out here just to look for a place to stay. Um, you're more comfortable with yourself. You're more confident, you know, because, again, moving to a new city with no money and no knowledge of the new city is very difficult so that's why i always emphasize finance finances and employment and if you're not a person that has a job and you're an entrepreneur make sure you got some cash flow to you make sure you have something going for you because again when you don't have income like i did where i had to bounce from job to job and trying to figure it out it's going to put you in a detriment gentlemen i was living off five bucks a week that's how bad it was. Times, gentlemen, where I get twenty dollars, 
and I'll go to the grocery store and buy rotisserie chicken, a loaf of bread, um, a bag of juice, and I was living off that. My mother for money from where she was in Maryland, like I was surviving and that is not something that you want to do. So you have secure income before you move to a new city. You do not want to struggle like I did, where I was bouncing from crib to crib and job to job. You know, I was all over the place. But again, I was pursuing my football dream, so I didn't want to get a secure job. So I was trying to just figure it out until this football dream worked out. Number two, gentlemen, you must have a place to stay. I cannot emphasize this enough. You must have a place to stay. This is a mistake I made. I lived in six different parts of Miami in one year. You cannot, no one can tell me nothing about Miami. I know just about everything about Miami. First place I lived with family from Venezuela for two months. I lived in, in a motel for two weeks, another motel for a month, a hotel for a week. I lived in another um, shared room. I lived with this family from Cuba for six months. Then I ended up moving to Opelaka, got my first apartment, and I got my second apartment in Opelaka. So I had two apartments in Opelaka, and I ended up moving to Miami Beach, and I've been to Miami Beach for the past four years. So, gentlemen, when I tell you, make sure you have a place to stay that's stable, because the last thing you want to do is bounce from crib to crib to crib. And that's why I was, you don't want to sleep in your car either, especially in certain cities, right? So make sure you have a place to stay. Um, as far as neighborhoods, make sure you find a diverse neighborhood. Don't go to a neighborhood that's too much of anything. You know, go to a nice location where you're, you're safe, you're secure, you know, people are walking around, there's action happening. You want to move to an area where there's action happening. You want to move to an area where they have a shopping center so you can go grocery shopping, so you can go, um, you know, do your everyday thing. But go to a place where people are active and not in a bad way. But people are active and people look positive. People walking their dog. You want to move to an area where it's safe to walk. So one of the mistakes I made, I didn't know, right? I moved to this area called Opelaka. And I knew it had a bad reputation, but I was like, mm, it shouldn't be too bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I, I'm just, I was just so happy to get my first apartment. You know, my first, my own apartment was in Opelaka. And I was just so happy to just to get my own spot. But I learned my lesson. They ended up breaking in my car because I had Maryland tags and um, they, they plotted on me, right, the whole time. So um, let me tell y'all something, fellas. Make sure you move to a safe area. Do your research. When you're looking for a place to stay, I went to websites like apartment.com, Zillow, Roomster. Like I was going to all these different websites to find a place to stay. And, you know, just from experience, gentlemen, I'm letting you know you got to be prepared from housing. You know, make sure from a distance perspective, you want to be in a nice, safe neighborhood. The neighborhoods I lived in was either a, a fully Spanish speaking neighborhood. There was other neighborhoods where it was super duper hood. Like you want to go to a, a good mix, right? You want to go to a good mix. But at the same time, not even just a good mix. You just want to be in a safe area. You don't want to be in an area where you're going to feel you don't feel you feel unsafe because you're trying to prove a point or you, you know, you just don't feel welcome. Like you want to be in a place where you feel good. Do your research, look at YouTube videos, look at reviews. Um, those are things that I did not do prior. Again, I didn't have the leverage, so I kind of just had to live anywhere that, that was offered. And also gentlemen, make sure you have a parking spot. <laughs> See, one thing about Miami, parking is extremely difficult. So the last thing you want to deal with is parking. All right, so again, make sure you find a spot to park, make sure you have a secure location where you can walk around, and make sure you live in an environment that is safe. So again, gentlemen, housing is extremely important. Legal and administrative tasks, meaning your driver's license, making sure that your driver's license is registered within the same state that you moved to. Make sure your vehicle registration is on point, making sure that your insurance is aware of where you live at. Now, depending on what insurance or whatever situation, that is up to you, but these are just recommendations I would tell you just in case if anything happens. So if something happens, you'll be secure as far as insurance within whatever state, prospective state that you end up moving to. So make sure you handle the, the license part, the vehicle part, the insurance, 
um, you know, vehicle registration. You got to handle all those things because those are very, very, very important, especially if you're driving from a different state and you have different state license plate people, you, you stand out. You know, you're going to get picked on. Again, I came from Maryland at the time I had Maryland tag, so my car stood out and you do not want to stand out too much in certain areas. So um, taking care of administrative tasks are extremely important is healthcare, making sure you find a primary care physician, making sure you find an, a dentist or orthodontist, you know, do your research because you're moving away from your original um, physician care assistant or whoever, whatever doctor you had. So now you got to find a doctor that best suits you and all the needs that you have and all the issues that you um, carry or whatever it is, making sure you find the right doctor, make sure you find the right dentist, make sure, making sure you find the right orthodontist, make sure you find the right chiropractor. Make sure you have your medical records transferred from your prospective state onto your new city. So those are things that you have to take in consideration and close attention to because medical is extremely important. And again, gentlemen, I had multiple injuries. So I was, the, I was at chiropractors a lot. I was at doctors and all that good stuff. So um, you know, playing football and experience a lot of injuries, I was on the map when it comes to this stuff. And, you know, it's extremely important that you have a primary care physician so you get checked up, you know, monthly or every two months or whatever it is. So um, those are things that you have to really pay attention to and really take serious. So make sure you have a primary care, care physician, a dentist, the whole nine, you get the point. Last, community and lifestyle. Gentlemen, it's extremely important that you you are a part of a community. You don't want, want to live and vibe solo. It gets extremely lonely. It gets depressing. Um, I remember there was a period of time, gentlemen, I had no friends. Like, I literally had nobody. I was out here by myself, you know, just talking to my homeboy on the phone or talking to my mom or a significant other. But I didn't have a community. I, had a, I didn't have a group of friends to hang with or to vibe with. And that was a struggle for me, you know. Um, I mean, it was cool because I got to discover who I was. I learned how to be alone and stuff like that, which is very important as a man is to be independent, be alone, which is extremely important. I'm not saying be dependent on people, but being a part of a community is extremely important. You know, attending networking events, you know, going to bars, um, you know, go to social events, um, check out the city meet people, introduce yourself to neighbors. Those are things that you want to do because you want to be aware of the community. You want to know what's going on so you're fully prepared whatever happens. Community in a new city is extremely important, especially if you're coming from an area where, you know, you've been so accustomed to a certain group of people and you move to a new city, you got to start asking around, asking questions. Hey, what is this like? Where's this street like? Or what are the dangerous neighborhoods? Or where are the good places to do, to go dancing? Or what, what are some good clubs to, to hang out at? What are some good bars? So being a part of a community is extremely important, gentlemen. And uh, whether if you're a religious person, you're going to church. So those are things that we have to take in consideration, gentlemen. So um, I just gave you, you know, all the key components that you need to prepare for when it comes to relocating to a new state. And please, gentlemen, take this advice very serious because I don't want you all to make the same mistakes I made, you know, where I had to suffer in the long run. But now I'm out here making videos for you all so you guys don't make the same mistakes I made. So please, gentlemen, take this serious. Gentlemen, if you feel stuck, you feel motivated, you have no sense of direction, you have no guideline, like you just feel horrible. Gentlemen, book a session with me and I promise you I'm going to make sure I get you to the next level.